What a mess. What a mess. Does this even work? Hi. Camera stopped working. My notification thing just blocked up. Wouldn't show anything about how many times I refreshed it. So yeah, I may be uh, I may be late on notifications today. How are we? I need, I need to get in the habit of not setting up my stream 10 minutes before the stream and just set it up like a half an hour before the stream and just have it ready. That's really what I need to do. Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. How was Impulse today? Did a lot of you guys watch Impulse? Lizzie, thank you so much for using Prime. Danny, thank you. I saw Impulse's, uh, he was working on a little kitchen thing there. That looked pretty cool. I liked it. Impulse wants string. Yeah, I kind of want string too. How's Skiz doing? Uh, I've only talked to him briefly and uh, I think he's mostly okay. He asked me to do a clip today, so then he's on. So he can't be doing that bad. Can you tell Rendog he's still live? He ended his stream and forgot to press the stop button. Well, he's not on. I'll send him a message. Ren. People saying you are still alive. See what he says. Oh, he just realized. Okay, he just turned it off. Okay. Never mind. Delete message. Okay, hi. Uh, God, things all messed up for me. I worked <sighs> only on episode two, guys. Only on episode two. Should be on episode four. Episode three has been kicked around and beaten up and smacked upside the head like seven times now, and it's getting frustrating. Yeah. Um, we've got yeah. I spent about nine hours just Etho and I working on a project yesterday uh, that is mostly done and working and I'm ridiculously excited about it, but it's not ready and I think the video might have to wait till Monday now. We'll see. So yeah, hang tight. Don't feel like I'm slacking because I'm not. It's just getting all the timing things are all way out of whack right now. It's just, it's just the life. It's all, it's the life, yeah. Skip episode three and just go straight to four. I mean, honestly, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get episode three edited and done, and I'll probably start working on episode four. So we might get like a three, four whammy jammy combo or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, all right. Today, uh, I don't have huge plans, honestly. I want to go over to the uh, to the underground farm area, and I want to get your guys input and ideas and, and start laying that out and how it might look on the inside. I want it to look decent. Yeah, we'll go see Skiz too. In fact, maybe we'll just go do that now. Let's go see Skiz. Um, and I actually think I want to do some caving all up under my base and get things lit up for future farms uh, and for like Ethos farms too. My me lighting up my areas will help him and him lighting up his areas will help me. That kind of thing. So yeah, let's go. Let's go give Skiz some love. see where he is he, he he done dug a big hole he dug all this death trap it's his lifelong quest to kill me i think this season he just wants to kill me and my horse let's see if we can find him well being amazing daniel of course it's daniel thank you That's good, Daniel. That is very good to hear. That is very good to hear. Thank you so much. Skiz? Skiz? Where, where might he be? Skiz? See if we can find him. What does the S stand for? Skiz? Skiz, Skiz? Skiz? He's not here. 
See where he is. I'll head back home now. Oh, he doesn't have to. That is, this place is dangerous. Look at this. Look at that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Gemma's been on all morning, too. I don't even know what she's up to. We'll wait. We'll wait for him. I assume he's around here somewhere. Unless he's coming to my base. Nope. Do chords? Eh. Game sounds are low. Friendly creatures I intentionally have low just because they get annoying. Hey, the Cash! Thank you! Papa Ish, thank you so much for using Twitch Prime. This tanker streamer, I watch him beat ups. Why? What's I don't understand. I mean, that's a compliment, but sure. Oh, riding a horse. Think the music's too loud? I can fix that. We do have new music today. I just threw it together real quick, so who knows? Uh, let's turn it down a little bit. <clears throat> Complaints about the music are welcome if you if you hate it. Muffy, thank you so much. I appreciate it. There's music. We shall wait. We shall wait. <laughs> now people are, people are saying the music too loud. Now people are saying the music is gone. What's the plan for today? Uh, mostly two things, and I do have to wrap it up a little bit early today. Um, but I want to go below my farming area and start getting that. I want to decorate the farms based on what is in the farms and things like that, and then just get a plan for like where the other farms might be, get your thoughts on how it might look down there, that kind of thing. And then we might do some caving, and well, who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll hang out with Skiz for a little bit, see how he's doing. <laughs> So, uh, about that, I don't know if this is coming home or not. I got want to wait for him. Say hello to my buddy. Well, I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes either. What are my big plans for this season? Watch episode one. It's all about the steampunk. We're going to be building a colossal factory up on the mountain up there. He must be getting resources. Maybe, yeah. There he is. There's Mr. Top. Hey, oh, Golden Boy. How you doing there? <laughs> Look oh, at you all just... shined out. <laughs> well, I, I'm, a, I'm the server hobo. That's just, that's just armor I find. <laughs> you need like, you need like a piece of leather that's like half died and like a I... chain helmet that's like falling off. Yeah. <laughs> I've had it. Believe yeah. Me, yeah, had yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. Just nothing but mob <laughs> drops. That's all season. Hey, yep. hey, yeah. uh, well, you know, I'm streaming, right? But first of all, um, you did not know that. Yeah, I'm streaming. Stream. Huh? I said, happy streaming. Oh. What's up, everybody? Um, How are you doing with your face? <sighs> I, I felt better. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to, you're not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I, better, but I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. But hey, you're on the server, so you're not doing that bad. You're no, playing. I have to get up. I have to get up and go. I have to move around a lot right now. But it helps, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just odd that like the most painful position is sitting. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like it's do you so have a bizarre. do you have a stand-up desk i do i do but uh i might even start doing that but um it's sometimes but honestly like the most comfortable i can get is when i lay down or recline right now right Ooh. right 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 because it's like underneath my ribs so it's like the weirdest place yeah but that's okay um you're, right, so, you, you're you such a you're such a positive person i have such respect for you you know that right like 
Something like this, well, and people just be like laying around like, oh, it sucks to be me. And you're just like, eh, no. let's get to work. We got things to do. Everything's going to be it's great. Just, you know, everything's it's great. Just, it's just a front. It's just a front I put on, dude. I cry in private. <laughs> right, come here. No, no, no. Uh, no, for real. Like, it, yeah, it sucks, but it could be it could be far worse. Um, All right. So here's where we're going to dip. Are you, you good to do this bit while you're streaming, dude? Sure. If you're okay with me doing it, no, I don't care. 100%, dude. 100%. Okay. So we're gonna do. This is, this is a big that. hole you got here. It is. Why? Oh, thank you. This is. Uh, there's a lot more work to be done here, but I have. I just finished the time lapse, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my own bit, and I'm gonna be mocking uh, these these uh, these columns right here because it's obviously gonna be a sign that people fell into the. <laughs> and they had to get out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what it was like, you know, before this whole thing was gone or whatever. Right, 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 right. 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 So I'm going to be basically mocking people um, that they were that they were doing this. And while I'm mocking is when you're going to pop in. Hey, skiz. You know what I mean? It's okay. That whole bit. What, what's my. Uh, <laughs> your whole thing is not is not to leave holes everywhere, like dangerous holes everywhere. Uh, we, don't leave dangerous holes everywhere without some sort of signage. And at the very least, don't laugh at people when they fall in it. You okay. know what I mean? Because I'm going to be. Yeah. So you're, you're going to be teaching me server etiquette sort of on, on two levels. I like it. I like it's it. It's going to be like, Sounds don't, good. don't leave the, the holes and don't be, you know, an a-hole. So um, <laughs> don't be, don't be. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out if I want to do, let me put the shield away. I'm trying to figure out if I want you to. Yeah. 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 This would be perfect. Oh, this would be perfect. So, what, so when it's time, and I say, and now the real in. question is, is camera shot right? This is still an ongoing challenge for us, apparently. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> By that I mean okay. me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be over here at the end of it, and I'll be in F5, and I, and you pop in. This will be easy. Like pop in, literally right in here. Right there. Looking right at me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Let me so get, I'm let me get rid of my, here. my horse. Yeah. Horsey, 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 horsey. You know what else I'm You guys get to see all the behind the scenes. The making of Don't Be That Guy live. Okay, so you can you can okay. um, why don't you go? Why don't you actually go up that ladder and and bury yourself in a hole? Because apparently I can always no, I'm just kidding. But just go up that ladder. Why don't I? Just crouch. Because now there's oh, look at you with your silk tux. You're so silky. Fancy. You don't even have pants. I got silk tux. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do you want to join a grouping so there's no uh, fall off? Um, no, because you, like you being. The, the icon is there a way to turn the icons off uh yeah but that's fine we'll be close enough anyways yeah all right make sure you're crouching uh okay do you want me to take my armor off uh you do it no you, you don't yeah, care okay. your armor. Yeah, do you, i don't do you usually have armor on uh, i do but whatever i'll take it off yeah it doesn't matter but make sure you're crouching because i can see your name <clears throat> can you see my name skiz i'm right here <laughs> just behind the wall all right so when you say come out i'm gonna i'm gonna You'll Super out, cool like man right through the wall. Bam. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then you, yeah. And then you put the We're old. Back. Yeah. Okay, okay, there you go. I know. All okay. right. So let me do a little bit. Let me do a little bit here. Let me see here. Welcome to Tango Stream, everybody, where Skiz does his own bits. <laughs> uh all right, here we go. Well, there it is. Pretty big hole here that we got. And uh, and I'm happy about it, right? And and I don't know if you saw in the middle of that time lapse, I had a few lovelies come join me and made made quick work of it. But I want to talk about these. Look at these columns. Let me tell you why I think these columns are beautiful. Because for a second, I was confused. I was like, wait, what is this? What, what are these? What, how is there? And then I realized, oh, people were falling in. <laughs> people were falling in when this was just a one wide. And they had to stack themselves out. And I don't know about you, but I just, I think that's super new pooper group. I absolutely love it. Hold on. Let me, let me, here, stay right there. Don't come out yet. Okay. I don't know about you, and I don't know about you, but I love it. I think that's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. All right, come out. <laughs> Perfect. Boop, boop, boop. Put those back. Yep. And then, and then a little bit to your left, tiny bit to your left. <coughs> and then, yeah, look, look, and then move towards me like one click so that you're, you're, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. And go for it. Hey, Skiz. 
Oh. Hey, buddy, how's it going? How's it going? God, I noticed. Let's I noticed go you here. got a giant hole here, my friend. It's uh, yeah, yeah. It's a little large size. We, we look, 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 look. We need to have a little chat here about uh, vertical descent at a, at large velocities and uh, the effects <laughs> that you're applying to your neighbors. Okay. It's funny. What are you yeah. talking about? Well, so for, the first of all, you, big, you you dig a giant trench. You try to kill me and my fancy horse every day. And now you're just like, I don't even need a trench. I'm just going to dig a giant hole here. And everyone's going to plummet to their death. Maybe, maybe just put a little sign, a little sign somewhere. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. You know? And, right, and, yeah. and at the very least, don't, don't mock them when they have to dig out of your death hole. You know? Yeah. All right. God, I always making me do the right thing. Skiz, don't yeah. be that guy. Perfect. Go ahead and vanish. You got to get out of my shit. Am I out of your scene, Skiz? <laughs> no, I can't you tell. I'm you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Thank you very much, Tango. Once again, Tango on my shoulder. Keeping me. <laughs> Were you hiding behind the bed? Maybe. Maybe I was. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> oh, thank you, dude. Yeah, my pleasure. Now I can take these ugly things down. Thank you, bro. All right. All right. Back to work. <laughs> get ah, his Gems butt. Your I don't. I don't know what "get his butt" means. That's. Did she say it in the way to set me straight? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I don't know what get his butt means. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. That reminds me. Do you want to hear the protocol that I implemented in the server? Uh, here, J here, Jim will show me. Jim! Ready? Ready? Protocol? Ready? Yeah, watch, 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 watch. Ready? I'm watching, I'm watching. And Jim, Jim, Jim. Okay, ready? Ready, Jim? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was Jim. epic! <laughs> This is, the, I, 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 I develop new protocol on the server. If you're in an isolated group with somebody, uh, there's, and then somebody comes by and you're fine with them, you know, popping in. Uh-huh. No. That's, when, that's when you do. The oh, is it, hold on. I know what this is, right? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I can demonstrate. Okay, okay. And wait, let me go to my F5 and pop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the uh, moon landing. Uh, uh, so if, yeah, if you uh, and I were in an, uh, uh, an isolated <laughs> chat and we're like, oh, Jem can pop in. Right. And then we do a moon landing and then right. she pops on in. Yeah, I like Jem? it. I like it. Or, alternatively, you, we have a text chat on the server where you're allowed to type things. I think it's you better. You don't have to rub your it's butts It's better to on rub butts. Other. Come on, Skiz. We're not <laughs> rubbing. It's popping. <laughs> totally. It's a, it's a totally, moon landing. Totally. <laughs> moon landing. <laughs> That's all it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, Gem. We uh, you see you got the whole, the whole hole done. You see it? Don't fall on it. It's dangerous. I just want to know what you're about to build that required you to dig to sea level first. Exactly. I right. Just want, I I just want. What? What's wrong with it? I wanted <laughs> the. I. It's the. It's Maslow's pyramid, and it's gonna start at sea level. All I. You're gonna terraform, right? The sheer cliffs yeah, everywhere, and everything's. That's my concern. Yeah. When you build above sea level, you have more room to terraform. Because you know, Jem's right gonna now, have a beautiful base right over there. And she doesn't want the shirt. Gem and I talked about this. We said that we're going to terraform. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, I like it then. And I'm same over there. And, tango, and same we, back here. We did here. talk about it. Yeah. I'm going to terraform. We'll see. I, mean, I know skiz. I know skiz. So I'm a little bit nervous here. He's right. going to be like, oh, terraform complete. It looks great, right? Yeah. yeah there we go. Ready? There, yeah, there we go. Done. Look, it's sloped naturally. Did you yeah. see how long the trenches were here? He, he did the trenches and then he worked on his starter base over there. Yeah. He didn't even need the trenches no. until just now. No. Okay, so much static. I get so much <laughs> no, static. You're, you're the best. All right. You're the best. I get, I get him back to work. Gosh. All right. Thank you, Top. Yeah. Okay. What are you up to, Jim? Tango needs to approve a path. Come oh. Uh, I'm here. I'm the official path approver. Uh, this is my path that I've yeah. decided we should probably have because Pearl's going to do a bridge. The problem is... Is she going to do... I've been waiting for her to do a bridge. Yeah. So she's she's going to do a bridge. And then somehow we need to terraform this front bit. I think Pearl's probably going to do that with you. Okay. Um, and I was thinking path here. Does this interrupt your plan? No, path I'm here? fine with whatever you want to do here. Yeah, you could carve this a little you know, bit. So people can foot it. Yep. Love it. 
Love it all. Okay, sick. And also, I'm going to do another path. Okay. Directly under your base. <laughs> and we're okay. going to blow it up with TNT. So I, is there oh, anything good. sensitive down there? <laughs> no, there is. How at least are you going to like at least 20 blocks below or 15 blocks below? Sea level. It's oh. a boat path. Yeah. Oh, oh, is this you and uh you and the Big E? Yeah. So yeah. The, the river is going to because Skiz and Impulse bless their hearts have decided to build directly yeah, over a river. Yeah, they're not they're non-river so believers. I know. They're just like boat we destroy rivers. I get it. So we got to connect the river through you <laughs> yeah. if you're willing to That's be a bit totally more That's totally fine. Totally fine. I like it. You know. Okay. Perfect. Wonderful. You are the reasonable Arizona. <coughs> how do you call Arizona? Arizona. Yeah, yeah, something like reasonable that. Reasonable one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard word to say. All right. Bye. Have okay. Thank you for the approval. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. What was I doing now? Let's. Well, let's just go take a, a ride out there first, and then we'll discuss. We will discuss. Bloop. I don't even remember how much I've shown on stream. I showed you guys the bamboo farm, right? Steampunk water wheel might be cool in the new river. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be a river or honestly, we'll see. I don't know if they're going to like decorate it or not, but you're you're absolutely right. If they make it wide enough and decorate it and, and I can fit a water wheel down there, that would be cool. Maybe we need some custom. What am I hearing? Just pigs. Hi, pig. Stocky pig. Uh, maybe some like custom. Because if you're going to be going through in a boat, it might be fine to have. It might be cool to have some like uh, audio, like canal watery splashing and then a, a water wheel. That would be fun. That would be fun. I'm all about the custom audio. It's my favorite thing ever. All right, you stick to the pole. We're going for a ride. Dripping sounds, yeah. It really depends on how they decorate it, quite honestly. Okay. So, we got this. We got this guy. I show this off and that we build this in the video. I made this like five days ago now. It's like everything is just so delayed I, and I apologize. But what we've got here is like, we got like iron farm. We got honey bee farm. We got bee spit farm. We've got the bamboo farm. I want to plan out what other farms are going to be down here, where they're going to go. And then I want to start decorating some of these like bases give every farm like its own facade front if you will that looks like the thing it makes so i want to decorate this with like the new bamboo blocks and, and actual bamboo stalks and stuff right here and get it all looking nice over here maybe change the entrance to the bee farm a little bit <coughs> and put like some honey blocks or something like that uh decorate this with iron and chains and bars maybe something like that and then decide like What's the floor going to be in here? All this stuff. You know, do we want to keep it wood? Do we want to keep it stone and, and like a cave? Or do we want to go more steampunky, which is what I'm probably leaning toward? I think. <coughs> and then, yeah, I want to talk about what farms I want to have down here as well. Granite is probably a decent start. Yeah, it's not a bad call. So much for seeing the sun. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> these are just, these are like down here is not the focus. Down here is not the focus of this season. This is just my resource supply, but I don't want to neglect it. Like I could just phone it in and leave everything just like this, but this is ugly and I want to actually put some, put some effort into it. It would make sense to steampunkificate down here as well. Copper farm this season. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They're all hundred percent. Be Yeah. I got a hot mic. It's the hottest mic, hottest mic around. Uh, I absolutely will be making a copper farm this season. I don't, you know, I'll be honest. Like we, last season we had the super fun, amazing one. There are more efficient ones out there now, but I want to still make it. <laughs> That's right. Skiz. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but I still want to have fun with my copper farm. So I gotta, I gotta do something clever with there. So I don't know when it's gonna, I don't know when it's gonna happen. Hopefully soon. Maybe it's something I'll start working on soon. Um, well i make another custom iron farm i would like to later one i already have an iron farm that quite honestly gives me the iron i need number two i want to wait for maybe the breeze to come online because i think that might be what i want to do is use the breeze to kill the iron golems i think that'll be fun 
This guy's is doing fine. I mean, he's not fine, but he's saying he's fine. So, you know. You need a hopper minecart under that bamboo. What? You mean like that, Lomax? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, thoughts on the bogged mob? <clears throat> My mother taught me if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Yeah, uh, we're going to talk about the bog mob. I'm, uh, I, listen, I'm grateful that they're adding a new hostile mob to the game. I can't imagine a way to be less creative than to add a fourth skeleton to the game. Reusing arrows that they already have, re like, it's like, how could you put in the least amount of creativity into your new mob? That's the... It, it's... So, yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly disappointed. Sorry. Like, I imagine a... Yeah, I mean, you got you got Skeleton, you got the Stray, uh... You got the... You got the Stray. Oh, there's Wither Skeleton. I thought there was another shooty one, too. Oh, I'm getting zombies confused. Sorry. So it is the third skeleton. I guess if you count the wither skeleton, but that's the wither skeleton, I'll admit, is a totally different mob. It's a skeleton, but that's fine, right? Different model, different uh, everything. Um, so yeah, I guess it is the third shooty skeleton, but it's just, it, regardless, my point is still the same. It's like, imagine, here's what I want you guys to imagine. Imagine the creeper never existed, okay? Imagine the creeper never existed and imagine a situation today where they create a creeper mob and put it in the game. That would never happen. It would never, ever happen, right? First of all, everyone would completely rage. But second of all, they wouldn't do it because like the, the creeper was made by Notch by accident, quite honestly. Um, you know, and Notch had different goals. You know, Mojang's trying to keep the game safe and fun for kids and everything, and something that comes and blows your stuff up, you know. But it's it's honest. Like, that's what the game needs. The game needs a creeper. And I don't mean a creeper. I mean something completely unique, like the creeper. And you can steal, you know, you could steal metaphorically or whatever a creature from you know, some, some other kind of like some from, from D and D or some fantastical creature or something. There's plenty of options out there. Um, but yeah, like, you know, a ghost or something or a goblin or, I mean, there's, there's millions of options, right? Like, you know, like a, a Cyclops or a mummy or, hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> or a kraken yeah one that like lived in the lava that would be cool <laughs> yeah what if what if what if Anyways. <laughs> the bog mob was added as the request of the community. What? That's a dirty lie. Who says, please, can I have another skeleton? Come on. What community? Anyways, that's me complaining. I, I, I'm ready for a new creature that does new things, that moves differently. <clears throat> Eh. 
I don't know what you're talking about X, but eh. Even if it was suggested, then it doesn't. It still doesn't change my as. Anyways, I don't want to get myself in trouble. You've heard my stance. Here we are. Here we are. Something new. I don't want another skeleton shooting more arrows. I want something that comes with a new attack mode. Something that comes with a new... I mean, the, the breeze is great. Don't get me wrong. I love the breeze. That's fantastic. But what we need and what I've been saying for years now, I think it's been like five, six years I've been saying this now. We need another core mob, you know, zombie, skeleton, spider, creeper. Those are the really core mobs. Enderman kind of decrease spawn rates, biome specific. But the first four, those first four core that spawn anywhere for the most part in the darkness, we need we need more of those. That's what I think. And they need to they need to it needs to be different than those four it needs to move differently or attack differently or or make you think somehow and respond differently. I think it'd be great. Warden was a great addition. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I love the Warden. What does this say? SU came together and fought the bat. I don't know what he's saying. What is SU? Johnson's United, what? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay. I'll just nod and smile. Anyways, so down here, guys. Let's get let's get working down here. Let's get a werewolf would be amazing. Oh, I would love a werewolf. It would have to be pretty tall. It would have to be a little bit taller than uh, a wither skeleton, like a, a three blocks tall, two and a half blocks tall at least. Um, it should... Oh, imagine if you if you got bit by it, it gave you a disease and you became a werewolf for a few seconds. Uh, and then, of course, drink milk would make would would cure being a werewolf. It, I mean, they could they could go all out, right? If you get if you get bit by a werewolf, you get a long term debuff, kind of like a hero of the village that does nothing. Except when there's a full moon. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> and then you turn into a werewolf and you can howl and... I know, all kinds of problems, but you know, it would be amazing. It would be amazing. The, the direction I want the game to go in is very, very different than the direction... Uh, Bo Yang wants the game to go, and that's that's for certain. Uh, okay, let's talk. Let's change evil penguins. Um, yeah, vampires would be great, honestly. Um, no, honestly, I would love to see a. Uh, and, if, and this was on my plans. If I continued, what if years ago? Honestly, was I would love to see a new uh, line of mobs, goblins, trolls ogres orcs something along those lines and i would love to see you know a handful of them created uh and i would love to see little we'll call them goblins but little goblin communities spawn in the world randomly and they grow over time if neglected and the more they grow the more the pot well, then like trolls start spawning in them and start wandering and patrolling the area and of course you got to put new loot there too but that would be amazing anyway Let's talk about down here. Give me some, give me some block pallets for what we're looking for down here. Probably should look steampunky and industrial, but I don't want to have to use 7,000 blocks of copper for a floor either. <clears throat> Acacia and granite are, are up there. And then I'm thinking like pillars, maybe like uh, like some kind of like bulky, you know, three wide pillar in between each farm just to kind of like anchor it and look like large supports or something. 
I'd go deep slate with that. Warped and spruce? Nah. Polished tough andesite. We need like like an industrial steampunk theme theme. I think I think deep slate and tough could work, but then we need a little bit of color. Let's go back to the base and see. Maybe maybe we'll just play with some palettes there. It will be an amazing. I'm not even watching here. Muffy of Doom, thank you so much. Hazy Cast, I think I thanked you already, but thank you again so much. Nova Score, Daryl, thank you. Zace, thank you. Angry muted sea bass or sharks with laser beams. Of course, of course, yeah. Uh, are you above where the canal is going to go? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, well, I'm behind. I'm like way behind it. Like they're gonna, it's gonna be way more to the east. It's gonna be like way over there, so it's fine. All right, let's go. Let's go look at some some block pals. It's a horse. We forgot the horse. Cogs, my buddy. I didn't forget you at all. Eh, I am horrible with leads. I feel like there's got to be a better way. Like the lead thing is undo the lead. It falls on the ground. You got to go around and look for it. And it's kind of a pain. I just wish it would go right in your inventory. But I love horses, though. So. Oop, oop. All right. Lead harder. I know, right? <laughs> Strip jungle logs. I don't have any of those. I got the achacha. <clears throat> let's play with some of those. Uh, maybe let's look at dark oak. Let's look at granite and let's grab some polished granite. Uh, can I do this? I can do that. No, I know. I know other people have jungle. We may we may go uh, relocate some into our uh, we may lag some into our inventory. Look at mosaic bamboo. I don't even know what that is. Is that a real block? Is it called mosaic? What is what is it? What are you what are you mocking me? Bamboo mosaic. Interesting. It's very yellow, though. Does that feel? I'm not a yellow fan. I don't know. Oh, for the floor? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we will be going to get some bamboo from the bamboo farm, though. And see see how that works. All right, we got granite, we got polish, we got acacia. Uh, obviously, we got to take some copper just to see what's going on. Are you like um, beehives for the floor? Uh, you must have just come from Impulse Stream. <laughs> now, I don't think I want this to be wood. I don't think it would make sense to have a wood floor. And beehives are obviously like a wood texture. Bamboo could look like a bunch of pipes. Uh, all right, well, like I said, when we get over there, I'll definitely look at some of the bamboo textures because I'm not I'm not familiar with them for sure uh let's see tough why do I have basalt in here where does basalt even go do I have a basalt home I probably don't that's why I just stuck it in there for now uh let's see bricks kelp block it's very green right I don't have a kelp farm yet so I wouldn't be able to do that Oh, smooth basalt might work for some of the pillars, actually. Um, yeah, these, these always make great pillars, so I could see that. And then like a detail block in the middle there, maybe I always I love those. They, they make perfect pillars, in my opinion. So, yeah, strong contender there. Zorlox, yeah, what, a, what an original idea. I never thought of that. Black and red glazed terracotta? No. What's up, Epic? How you doing? Hacked mud. 
The mud would go probably good with like an acacia thing. And I know Pearl just made, I don't have any mud. I know Pearl just made a mud modificator. A white block on the floor. I don't know. Feels too clean for what we're going for here. We want like dark steampunk industrial is what we're kind of going for down here. I, I, I should have put some more thought into this, but I figure we'll just chat about it. See if you guys have any ideas that I like. Copper grades sound amazing under feet. Too bad they cost so much. They're not that much, I don't think. If I remember correctly. I mean, it's one to one, right? One block, one grate. Do they sound good? You get that, that. I, I love these new blocks. They're amazing. That's interesting. Maybe what would feel a little bit steampunky industrial is if I had areas of the floor built out of this and then water or lava flowing underneath it like flush bridges almost if that makes sense that might be a cool cool effect because i like the transparency so let's see we're taking some copper with us here red brick the only way i could see red and again my opinion is is flawed and wrong but for me, I think the only way red brick would work is like a a detail or a tint on something else to do to cover a large area and red brick always feels too much to me personally. Campfires. Campfires with smoke coming up through the grates. Oh, would that work? The grate would block it though, wouldn't it? What's the rule if you have a campfire? I think if it, it'll go through a block right above it, but it won't go through the block has to be directly above it, right? Do I not have campfires? I guess I don't have campfires. It'll go through two blocks. Does it matter where those blocks are? Let's make let's make some campfires. Yeah, because I like I like that. Uh, what is it? Logs. Logs, coal. I think. Uh, hello. Why is coal in the copper? Uh, and what is it? Sticks? I cannot remember. Sticks. Yeah. Campfires. Ten of them, sure. So if we do that, and then... I mean, I could just have the... If the, the lava definitely wouldn't stop it. But yeah, see, once you put it above a block, it stops all the particles. It has to be, oh, one got through, I guess. That's unfortunate. I don't think the hay bale, the hay bales will make the particles go longer, but it's not going to change the logic of when particles get blocked. Right? Two block space would avoid those rogue particles. I want more particles to come through. Yeah, that stops pretty much all of them now. Mm, that's a bummer. It'd be nice if that was like... It'd be nice if blocks were like flagged as to whether stuff can go through them. I know it's just based on whether they have a hitbox or not. You like the single puff? <laughs> oh, what if we do, if we... Yeah, no, it's still blocked by the second one there. Like if we do that one, then it's great. You get tons of smoke through it that way, but then you can see the campfire. That's a bummer. It's great. <laughs> It, it's it's great what i want is that and then i want lava right there below it but that's not gonna work we just get like the one puff i mean i guess maybe if if i did this in a bunch of places and it's only letting one puff through maybe that those individual little puffs here and there might be enough
Lava log the campfire. That's not a thing. Can't lava go in the grate? Uh, it could. Well, no, it can't. You can only do that with water, right? Am I, am I crazy? Lava, yeah, lava logging is not a thing. You can't, you can't put lava inside a block. <laughs> Don't be trolling me. I'm not that smart, all right? I'll believe you. Hay bale below the campfire. I mean, we could try it, but I really don't think it's going to work. I need to go get more hay. Uh, eh. Eh. Same thing, yeah. It doesn't change how particles obscure it. It just changes how long the particles go for. Okay. Uh, inventory! Okay. It's possible to push a cart into the block to hide the campfire. Uh, sure. But then you'd see the cart, right? So... Um, we'll see. I think, I think we might do campfires below lava and that one puff, like, cause imagine if this was like two or three wide and 10 blocks long, you'd be seeing a particle come up everywhere here and there. And I think that might be sufficient. It'll probably be a little bit light, but we'll see. Okay. The pillars, uh, I really like polished basalt. I like the idea of a three wide. Do we go with, I like putting walls in the middle, but it seems like those are two, two dark ones. Something a little bit brighter now. Something a little bit brighter. What's a, what's a bright wall? Not super bright, like white, but like, um, maybe tough. Maybe the new tough ones. Obviously that's not bright, but comparatively. Oh, it should definitely be the polished ones, though. Not sure there's enough contrast. Uh, what am I doing? I could use these things, right? Put that there and get... Where's the... Oh, that's the one I wanted, the polished tough wall. Yeah, that's almost the same color. It's a tough choice. Yeah, it is, it is. Sandstone, maybe? I was I was looking at that, yeah. Like a, a red sandstone. I could see that. I mean, it's that's a bright orange. You bring it in. Bricks. Is that, are there brick walls? No. Yes. Brick walls. All right. How do we make bricks? Is that it's that time of the season, everybody? Where I ask how we make bricks. Uh, uh, it's the clay, right? The clay thing, which is impossible to get, right? How do you get clay? I know you dig it up from riverbeds, but oh, we can go trade. It's pro let's go trade. Let's go trade. I guess it really matters. How, how, how likely are we to use bricks? I don't want to go through all this effort to, and then not, I never really like bricks. Clay, dripstone, mud, 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 clay. Everyone's using arrows. I think I think I like mud better than than the red brick ones. Test in creative. Nah, I mean maybe, but if I go into creative, everyone loses interest. That's how it goes. Mud turns to clay. These are things I don't know. But I think I'd, I'd like mud, a mud wall here would be a little bit better. Is that a thing? We have mud walls, right? Yeah, this mud brick wall. Not quite as orangey. 
Okay. I'm going to go. We're going to go use uh, Merle's. <laughs> Merle's. <laughs> I tried to say mud and pearls. And we got Merle's. <laughs> I will forever call her Merle. Uh, we're going to go use Pearl's uh, modificator. Uh, what do I need? Dirt. Dirt. And uh, let's go see how it works. It's close enough. <laughs> Hello, Merle. Merle's not on. I think, is it that right there? Is this the new thing? How does this work? Oh, she did redstone. What is happening there? Yeah, this is definitely, she's got the water bottles there. So I probably just put the mud right, or the dirt right there. This is exclusive previews. Yeah, I know I'm totally spoiling it. Right, cause you hit, you hit water bottle on mud and the mud goes in the thing what's going to tell it to there's no observer or anything there and what is filling up those water bottles and what is this that's just a clock it looks like a clock yeah that's a clock that's What is that clock even doing? It's powering that block. This is intended to obviously get new water bottles to go into. I don't know how this works. What is that redstone? Oh, 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 oh. Right, when, duh, of course, the repeater, duh. You put a block there and, hello, strongly powers that and then does the thing. Okay, I like that. Let's go get some dirt. Took me a while to figure that out. I'm a redstone expert, obviously. It's always weird when you see someone else's redstone because I would have never thought of doing that. I probably would have done some kind of observer system, so I didn't, I didn't even think of that. It's clever. I like it. All right, I think we've got dirt for days here. All right, we need to make another chest to keep all my temporary things here, all the ideas we have. Uh, it's getting crowded in here. I need a bigger storage room. Someone build me a factory, would you? Uh, let's put all this stuff that's a possible use to us in there. Campfires. Sure, we'll throw those in. Let me put the rest of this stuff back. Okay, moon goes there. Tough walls. You're not getting used. Uh, coals going there. Good enough. All right, let's grab some dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Uh, you need an iron shovel too? Do I? I have no idea what's about to happen here, apparently. <laughs> uh, sticks. Eh. Sticks. Logs. Hello? I really need to just bring up like a double chest full of sticks because every time I use wood to make sticks, it kills me when I have all that bamboo down there. Uh, put those back in there. That. Shovel. Shovel. All right. Yeah, you, breaking logs to make sticks like makes me cry a little bit on the inside. T the Great, I appreciate the gift sub. Thank you. So is this is this a um, offhand main hand dirt offhand tool main hand kind of thing? Got it. Dirt. I mean, I could have just used a regular. So we we just hold right like eh. Whoa, baby! I'm gonna break a machine. That's actually pretty good speed. Diamond shovel is too fast for the farm. I suppose that makes sense. How are the... Oh, is there is somewhere there a dispenser? If you dispenser a water bottle into a water source, it fills it up. Is that a thing? There it is right there. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Love it. Good job, Pearl. That 
one. Uh, there we go. I think we got a couple of regular dirts in there, but... The dirtificator! It's the, it's the mudificator. Yeah. Yeah. Failing! With the fails, and all the failing. Making mud. It is a certified Merle classic. The timing on that is just precise. It's turning into mud like a split second before I'm breaking it. I think, yeah, I'm actually starting to break the block as dirt and as it's being dug, it turns into mud. That's really cool. All right, how are we looking here? Oh, it's all our mud needs. All right, that's enough for now. Stop clicking now. Is the machine broken or do I? Oh, I think what this is out. Excellent. Pearl, that was an amazing machine. Well done. It's a Merle classic. Leave a sign. Yeah, let's do that. Let's leave a sign. She needs to know you that. Come in or what? No, hi. What are you doing in my house? <laughs> Stinky. I'm trying to bring you a buddy. You're trying to bring me a buddy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Look, we can play hide and seek in my house. I bet you can't find me for like 10 minutes. Yeah, seriously. Dude, I came in here to, to, to borrow, borrow <laughs> something the other day. Come find me. Come out. find me. <laughs> okay, I do it now. You're, I've got to... Why do you do this? What are you doing here? <laughs> oh! Uh oh Whoa! Okay, I'm almost dead. <laughs> what just happened? Well, I brought a fella. What the? What is this? This ladder goes to nowhere. What? What the heck? Where are you? Come find me. Dude, what? <laughs> this is... Am I at Hogwarts? This place just keeps going. Hey! <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Oh, you are. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like another dimension in here. How much space <laughs> is in this? It's like eight floors in this little rickety house. I know. I feel like I should be honest that if you didn't say, hey, I probably would have walked in. You would have turned around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I where's my friend? Whole, I want friends. Whole, uh, I like friends. Friends yeah. are good. Well, there were like eight of them. I was going to have a poker party over here with myself and my villagers. Yeah, Did you bring like, eight creepers? Like, Wait, what? Eight? No, no, no. I'm not that guy. That's my that. balcony. Yeah. Don't get lost. Otherwise, I'm going to get a visit from my uh, shoulder tango. <laughs> I'm almost dead. I'm almost <laughs> dead. <laughs> what? Uh, I can't. I'm not going to make this. I'm not going to survive this fall. You won't survive the fall. Oh, I almost. Hold on. I have a hay bale inside. You want to jump onto a I hay bale? Don't. I need, I just need some thin food. I ate me, I can eat this. No, 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 it's more no. fun to jump onto a hay bale. Okay, okay. Because then you can be like, oh, boing. Maybe I, I got three hearts. Maybe I'll make it. Let me, let me go old western and land on your horse. <laughs> He'll break his back. <laughs> right, here you I go. totally will. Can you make that jump? <laughs> hey. You took like full damage there, didn't you? <laughs> no, no, only half a heart. Oh, uh, okay. Excellent. All right, well, why don't you take care of that pillager that's around here somewhere? Oh, those Man, friends? I had like eight of them, dude. Ah. They did, did pillicide the whole way here. Pillicide? Oh, here he is. Here's that fellow. Where are they? All right, if they're not captains, then that's fine. I'll slash their face off. It's only one. It's... Yeah. That's not how you make friends. I made uh. axe friends with him. Uh. <laughs> what is it? Where's the captain? That's the, that's the real question. He's uh, over by Double Dops base. Do you need Do you need some pork chop power? Come here. Pork chop power. I am totally the server hobo. Thank you. <laughs> that armor is way too bling for the server hobo. Like I seriously think you need to get some some chain. Like it's got to be chain armor from a skeleton that's got like three hits of durability on it. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what you're you need. Right. <laughs> but, uh, I don't want to craft armor. All right. Okay. Bye. We need to make him a set of armor somehow. Okay, so we got mud. We've got mud, and now we can, uh, I don't know how any of this works. What do I do with the mud now? I dry it or something? I don't, help, I'm stupid. Oh, we'll leave for a review, yeah. 
We dry it. How do we dry it? Oh, we mix it with wheat, right? Uh, oh, let's go get some wheat. Do I have a sign? All right, let's go leave Pearl a review. And then we'll go find some wheat. Packed mud. Is the music still quiet? Can anyone even hear music? It feels very quiet to me. All right, sign. Uh, we'll put it right here. Let me turn it up a little bit. Maybe. Okay. Uh, let's see. The sign is going to say... Excellent... Modificate... Ah. Best modificator on Hermitcraft. Wood mud again. 10 out of 10. There we go. Tango. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to use it all the time. That's pretty good. Now my fears. Thanks to you guys teaching me how to recipes and stuff. And... Merle's machine. My fears of mud have been subsided. Okay, uh, I need, I need, I need wheat. I need wheat. This should be enough. I was actually gonna break this, but I'm starting to think I might need a little bit more wheat this season, especially because I really, I really do like the packed mud. And I could probably see me using a lot of it this season, so... But I don't know that I want to make a whole villager thing. Uh, all right. That's, oh, we got to replant! All the places I've stomped around here with my horse. And I'm too lazy to go get a hoe and re -hoe the land. It's just slowly becoming non-fertile land. <laughs> Don't be that guy. I know, right? <laughs> Skiss! <laughs> That's a good... Don't be that guy. <laughs> Screen on. <laughs> he could totally... He could totally just, like, go take all of... <laughs> Are you watching Skiss? You just go take all of Green's wheat and you're like, yes, look at all this wheat. You just walk away. <laughs> Green's giant wheat farm. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay. We do the thing with the thing now. Is it? <sighs> okay. Back to mud. It's, it's the packiest. And now we... No. Do we just do this? No. <sighs> so embarrassing. Pack harder! Dry it. You dry it. Do I have to cook this? Like, how long does it take to make packed mud? This is like the worst... <sighs> I'm gonna die of old age before I make this stuff. I gotta use some crazy custom machine by Merle. I gotta get some wheat. I gotta mash the wheat. I gotta cook it. It's crazy. Uh, am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it wrong? I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. It's it's not doing anything. Oh, do we have to? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a professional. Do I make mud bricks first? Mud bricks. And do I cook the mud bricks now? Or am I am I cool to? You don't cook it. Chat lied to me. <sighs> it's good to know there's other people out there that are just as clueless cool as me. Okay. I knew that all along. Obviously. All right. All of this just so that we can do this. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right. So that will be our pillars. Floors.
So that means we're going to need more basalt pillars for sure. There was some in here. Where, there it is. Uh, basalt. Pretty much all basalt should just be instantly turned into uh, polished basalt. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, Mega Basalt Generator of Doom. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably make one eventually. Yeah, I could see us using a lot of basalt this season. I need a basaltificator. Yeah, we've done we've done those. Uh, I've seen people use lines of anvils in the floors as pipes. Okay. I see what you're see what you're laying down in the floor. You're talking like a little shadoingy shadoingy and then maybe like a polished black stone. Wait for it. Cracked something like that. Mm, it's not the same tint really, but something like that just going through the floor and then you know, not not this block, but this around it kind of makes it look like floor stuff. Tough. You think tough would go better? I think you're probably right. Uh, polished stuff. Polished stuff. We shall make some polished stuff. Polished stuff. Polished stuff. It's a little bit too bright, but but either way, I like the idea. The reason I'm putting a solid block there is because, like, I think. Right? If you did, no matter which way you put the anvil, it's gonna look it's gonna look a little bit wonky and stupid. Chantal, thank you so much. But the mud isn't bad, actually. If we really want to go with a dark floor, the mud and the anvils go good together. So, so maybe, maybe that's, maybe the mud is the joint and then this is something else. A floor of pistons. Now you're just getting crazy tech, <laughs> but I know what you're, I know what you're saying, right? Like pistons angled the, uh, like this kind of thing where you're like, nah. Right, and then you like, nah. I can't do it because of the size. But then you get like this nice pattern of the piston heads doing like zigzags across the floor and stuff. That does feel kind of steampunky. Pistons are pipes, but how? In what? In what way? Which which texture are you talking about? Would look better as a wall oh I, it could be like a I could use pistons as there's so many ideas I could use pistons as just like um like a like kind of like a foundation right I, I would want to find something else that kind of matches that texture but that that line there might look nice can you waterlog a piston arm I would guess not but I don't know yeah, furnaces or something like that might look good. Put upside down pistons on those. Oh. That. Oh, uh oh, -huh, oh. Uh -huh. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's real. That actually looks like pipes. That's really cool. That just clicked in my head what you're trying to get across and I see it now. That's really cool. Okay. I was thinking of just having that be like a border all along like 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 one block off the floor, but that could be the floor. Is that what, what do you guys say? Where do we, do we use that in the walls or the floor? Once you see it, you can't unsee it. I know. In the walls. But how would we, how do we take corners with that is the question. 
And it does mean we need a texture that matches that gray piston. And I don't want to have 7,000 furnaces in the walls. Any cobble? Cobble deep slate. The back of a piston. I mean, it is the same texture. So that carry, I mean, that doesn't solve the problem. That just prolongs it, really. If I was just going to do a little bit with this, though, then the back of a piston is good to carry that texture a little bit more. But I'm thinking, like, if I've got a big, tall wall, right, that's got to go 20 blocks up. I don't want to fill it with that many pistons. Match it with the border of the piston. Yeah, like, so, like, a dark color. So, probably a... Is that a deep slate? There's not enough room for me to prototype in here, but I don't want to leave and have to keep coming back. Uh, is that... That looks like a deep slate, right? Maybe a blackstone? Uh, let's try regular. Let's try cobbled. Oh. Yeah, those are pretty close. Not perfect. That, that I mean that line is still a little bit darker. I have a feeling blackstone's going to be way too dark though. The one on the right feels a little bit better. I mean they're they're such close that quite honestly, I would just mix and match these two and make like a blend. Basalt Putting stuff away, hang on. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Uh, horizontal basalt. You guys are good at this. Uh, oh, that's right. I don't actually have a basalt chest yet. I think I'm just stuffing it in. Here we go. Yeah. Is that the... No, you want that one, right? So the only way to get that, if I understand, is to have like a, a block behind it. It's not bad. Try normal cobble. It's going to be way too bright. Normal cobble will be way too bright. Yeah. Regular, regular tough. Just regular tough. I love those pipes. Regular tough's a bit bright. Basalt and deep slate seem to be the winners so, so far. Yeah, that's very green. Droppers, uh, maybe? I don't have that kind of redstone yet. Mud? You want to try just regular mud? It's pretty dark. I would I would use that after like so so far the winner is like the uh the cobbled deep slate. I would use mud like up in the corners for shadow and stuff like that. But not right up against the pipes like that. It's too much of a contrast. Furnace is actually perfect. Yeah, but the lag, right? I can't. I can't. Uh, what did I just do? Did I just? Everything's fine. Uh, furnaces have lag associated with them. Because they get update ticks. Oh, I could lichen on top of some of them. Yeah. Holes too smooth. No texture. Or sorry, concrete is too smooth. No texture. Acacia. I'm thinking acacia and something brighter for the floor. I'm, we're working on like the walls. Now keep in mind we got those pillars too, right? The basalt pillars. So that'll go well with this. Uh, Chantel, thank you for the five gift subs. I really appreciate it. 
have water anywhere. You could use sticky pistons to give it a muddy look. Do hopper dropper. Hoppers have lag issues, yeah. But I don't know if you guys heard in the new snapshot. They're finally, finally making it so that if you put a regular solid block on top of a hopper, it will no longer attempt to pick up items. So the days of putting composters on top of hoppers is over. It's amazing. Thank you, Nembomb. Thank you for becoming employed there and doing the common sense things. <laughs> you know that's Nembomb. You know he's the one that did that. It makes me so happy. That's great. Very happy about that. <clears throat> oh, moldy, not muddy. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like some mossiness would look good. I, I agree. What's up, Grim? How you doing? Can I repeat that, please? Yes. If you put a solid block, basically, if you do this, right? Today, if you do that, that's like, ah, lag, lag, right? It's causing lag because it's constantly looking to suck up items. Um, so the answer to that right now is to take a composter and put it on top because that causes, that stops it from trying to get a new item because that block technically has an inventory that it can pull from. So it doesn't try to pick up loose items. Uh, and the reason you use sure. comp... Hello? <laughs> Sorry. Hello? Hello? Hi! Hi! <laughs> Sorry. All I can do is hear you talking to yourself. I will mute. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, thank you. <laughs> I will mute. Thanks, Cleo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, the reason you use a composter is because it doesn't have update lag associated <coughs> to itself. Like you could put a furnace on top of that, but the furnace itself causes lag because it gets update ticks. So the composter is kind of the established one to uh, to use to prevent the lag. But now you'll be able to just be like any old block. Boop. And now the hopper will no longer attempt to pick up items, which is the way it should have been from day one. And that's a great thing. That's a great thing. Okay. Coral blocks. I mean, as soon as you say coral, eh, sorry, it's not happening. Get too hard to get. Too hard to get. I can't be bothered. Jerk Knox, thank you for the piece of pie. Uh, you can indent the pie, the pipe texture part, set one block back from your wall and have it revealed by two slabs. Leaving an empty space to see the pipe. I think I see what you're saying there, jerky. Uh, let's see what would be a good. Well, regardless of what slab I use, let me just see if I know what you're saying here. Let me, is there are tough slabs here. Here we go. Yeah. Are you saying like something like that? Doc? Yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. And if they're set back, it's not as much pressure to. Uh, that's fantastic, actually. Yeah, because then, you know, now I'm building out at, you know, this level and there's not nearly as much pressure to match the textures. I love that. Great idea. Great idea. And it hides the black border of this and stuff. OK, so that's perfect. So we're definitely going to put the pipes recessed in one very good hire that guy well i mean i don't like him that much let's not get carried away right once in a while he's got a good idea <laughs> uh so then we're back to what walls do we want to use but I, th I think i honestly i think maybe just a mixture of deep slate crack deep slate like deep slate textures mixed in with some mud and stuff in the darker areas i still kind of like that i think right so if we go let me get rid of all this stuff here maybe even some basalt yeah the basalt, that, that face of the basalt mixed with the sprinkled in, in in various places with the black stone. I like it. Okay, and we'll have to add more detail here and there, but that's a, that's good enough for our walls, I think. And then these pipes are going to be the main detail because we can carry these pipes horizontally 
vertically. We'll have to figure out what we want to do at the bend of the pipe. I don't know what the answer is there. Copper block will be too bright. If there's what is what is this color right here? What block is that color? Just wood, right? Just oak. So that might be the right answer. Uh, let's grab let's grab some oak logs. Maybe the bamboo too, which which we have over at the farm. I kind of think. Something smooth would be better, but it is it is close to the right texture. Yeah. Oh, what about like a barrel? The uh, the the flat face of a barrel. I mean, it's got a little button on it, but. Oh, oh, just a piston front. You're right, of course. Right, because that's already. Pistony. Okay, I like that. Yeah, 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 face of a piston. I mean, the face of a piston has got to be the answer, right? It's, it's perfect. It's got little rivets on it and stuff. Okay. Oh, I'm excited for that. Okay, so we got our walls down. I'll probably go with like a, a deep slate, like a deep slate brick for the slabs. It kind of looked like it was framed in a little bit and then leave the walls as like the cobble and basalt or something like that. I think that might look good. The floor, we're making progress here, guys. I know we're just standing around talking, but you guys are being an immense help. We're getting the pallet determined for down there. Let's, we got to nail down the floor. Do we still want to do this anvil thing for the floor? Or, or I should say, and or do we want to do some of the grates, right? Some of the grates, which may or may not be oxidized. I like the grate idea with the lava below it still. I mean, it's, the whole floor is not going to be grates, to be clear. It's going to be like little little pathways it'll turn out great yeah 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 yeah. okay so i like the grates with the lava below it with a little bit of the smoke coming through and then maybe to match that we're talking granite kind of matches Polished granite's gonna have that much harder edge to it. But I'm not I'm not certain about that yet. Right, did I make polished granite yet? I thought I did. Yeah. Terracotta? A lot of people saying terracotta. Sprinkled in weathered grates. Uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, we could, we could go with whatever the greats are. They're not going to be the same. We're going to, we're going to blend of the four textures, but, um, are we, are we fading on the orange side? Or are we fading on the green side? You know, fading on the oxidized side. I'm leaning orange with some weathered mixed in, you know, kind of maybe, maybe blend between the two. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll stick with the orange. And like I said, we'll, we'll wait till some get weathered and we'll wax them. Uh, let's look at the acacia. I mean, of course there's acacia logs, but I don't think that's gonna work. I got some machacha there. Let's grab that. That's very orange. Whew. I mean, it blends good with the grate. Oh, stripped logs, you're saying? Sorry. The planks are just way too orange. Uh, let's see here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe. Maybe like, so we, we decide where our floor is going to be. We lay out the grates. You know, with the lava under it and stuff. And then on the edge of the grates, as kind of like a, a runner, we put the stripped acacia logs. And then in depth in the floor, more like away from those is more of a more of a bulk fill. Cause these look like like good edging, I feel like. But then we need something that's just like a, a filler. Where's my where did that polish there? 
you know, maybe we go with something like that away from it or something. I think something like that would be good. Yeah, fire tick is off, so we don't have to worry about anything burning. Okay, I'm excited. All right, so we need lots of pistons, lots of pistons. This is good. We have we have we have an actual project here now. How does that match the walls? I mean, it doesn't. It's an orange floor and a, and a black wall. So maybe when we see them together, I'll hate it, but we'll see. Still try terracotta. I don't have any terracotta. Which color, which color terracotta would you, uh, would you be saying? Red sand? I keep that in mind, yeah. Granite stairs for edging. I see what you did. Yeah, so you get like that little indention, little depth. I like that. <clears throat> Just regular terracotta? Okay. Let me, let me grab some stuff here though. Cause we're not going to obviously do everything, but I want to, if we can set up like a good palette of like, yep, that's what we're looking at. Oh, all my shulkers are down at the project with Etho. Uh, so we're going to have to carry this stuff over by hand. Uh, okay. Let's put some of the stuff that we're not taking away. Hoppers. Sticks. We're going to make multiple trips, but that's fine. It's not far. Uh, all right, what did we say? Deep slate, we want that. We want cobbled. Deep slate and cobbled. We want some polished basalt. Which I think we have some right here already, right? Polished basalt, good. Uh, oak planks can go away. Stripped acacia log will keep. Acacia planks are going away. The copper grates are staying. The anvils, we may still do something with that. 52 pistons in that chest, did I? Oh, and this one, right. I was like, well, I don't see, I didn't see him in the other one. Uh, business, 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 business. I'm blind, I see 32. Are there more? That crafter texture might be interesting too. We'll have to think, we'll have to keep that in mind. I like that crafter texture. Okay. Oh, the double chests. Oh, right, haha, -ha. of course. Uh, okay, we're gonna need lots of pistons, more achacha, uh, more polished basalt, more mud, more copper. All right, let's take this over. Uh, I need a, I need a double chest though. I need a double chest. Uh, uh, uh get rid of you. All right, we'll take this over and then we'll be back. Hi. I'm starting to build some stuff. Are you? Yep. No, I can't not pick up my... Not wearing your dumb hat. Yeah. You're not celebrating. <sighs> Art day. Thank you. Please just make it. I <laughs> really don't have any. You just did these last week. We I know. No, but I love you them. You can't use the I... same hat. I love the hat. I love the glasses. And this is a different, these are pink hearts and not red ones. See, see the difference people? The fact that we have, I did red the ones fact that we have pink week. and red heart hats just gives you an idea of the scope of the uh, hatification we have here. <gasps> oh, now, ow! Okay, I guess, we're... look at that. Oh, we're double, double oh, harding. look at all the hearts. Ow, don't press, there's spikes of doom in there or something, ow! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What? Sometimes beauty hurts. <laughs> Not for me. All right. All right. That, that, that. Mud, basalt, deep slate. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. I don't need the composter. That's not happening. The granite, cha cha, the anvils, more basalt. I do wish that there was more heart rate. Do you need to balance? You can get like the full antenna effect out. Ah, this is gonna hurt. This one doesn't have spikes in it. There See, you go. What is, oh. No. See, now, now we got the full. No. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. You can't stop me. Can't stop me. All right, all this stuff is going back. 
We'll be right back. Vertical yeah, pipes won't work because of slabs. You're right, because there's no vertical slabs. So maybe, yeah, you're right. We'll have to see though. Maybe we just don't care about the slabs in that case. Or maybe we put trap doors or something. I don't know. It's a good point though. Walls, walls will be too thick. I think it'll cover up the, it'll cover up the pipes, but maybe. Those are my only choices. Aww. You know what? Let's grab more of the fun sauce down here. Don't the pink glasses just make everything look better? Oh, yeah. I'm immersed in right? pinkness. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, -huh. Yeah. uh regular cobblestone. Tough. Polished blackstone. All right, what do I need more of? More copper for the grates. We need more acacia. Got it. Acacia. Acacia. A cha cha. You're you're building with acacia. I'm building with a cha cha. Uh, what else do we need more? More deep slate for sure. Deep slate. Deep slate. Tell me I have some cobble. Deep slate. Yep. 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 Uh oh. Oh. The uh, uh, the bricks we want. Oh, maybe we'll go polished because I got a bunch of them here for the for the trim. Because it's super easy to by get the. Polished it's not that hard. Uh, Skizzle man, he's doing good. He's doing good. Bring a grindstone. Uh, sure. Why am I bringing a grindstone? Why not? Got space. You know, you need four blocks per pipe corner. Pipe corner is just going to be a piston head, right? You meant stone cutter, not. Did you say stone cutter? I type with the best of the typing. Stone and iron. You would think I would know that by now. Okay, I'm off now. Okay, have fun. It's boring part now. Um, please remember. Yeah, to... Um, oh, I got about 45 minutes, huh? Wow, okay. Well, this is good, because maybe this will help me finish my video out with this project. All right, what maybe else am I... <laughs> What am I forgetting? What do I need more of? Granite? Need a reminder? I I think I just put that reminder in place now, didn't I? Some, one of the thousands of people will. Common sense, it looks like I carried away. I, common sense, come on. Time to play Minecraft, we're working on it. We're working on it. What else was in my palette that I got the copper, I got the pistons, more campfires. I have 10 campfires. That's enough for now. I got a couple of, we're just trying to make like a sample area, more anvils. Well, we got the iron farm down there. Basalt. I don't think I have enough basalt. We, we took some down there. Yeah, we should just change this to say tough basalt. Uh, mud bricks. I think I've had a couple stacks of the mud down there that we brought, right? Tough bricks, dark oak log. Dun, 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 dun. We'll take another copper just for fun. A granite just for fun. Pancakes. Yesterday was National Pancake Day. Did everyone celebrate? I did. I did. Let's go, Cogs. You did? You had fr you had French toast on National Pancake Day? Blasphemy. How dare you? How dare you? Just rude. I know, right? Just. Okay. Let's uh skadoodle all this in here. Maybe this is enough. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. I'm sure we're going to be missing some stuff. Okay. 
I want to decorate the, 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 what do you call it, too? I want to decorate the front of this, too. We got so much work to do. I guess I'm building all night tonight. My campfires. Didn't I? Oh, I guess I didn't bring a bunch over. Oh, well. That's a detail thing we can, we can add later. I need a shelf behind you so I can decorate behind you. Right? Maybe after the office remodel. And I can put I can put holiday decorations right behind you. Festive. I like it. Festive. I like it. Yeah. So you can get some more gnomes. I, I need more gnomes is what you're saying. Well, maybe I need more gnomes. <laughs> and they need to go in my stream is what you're saying, right? And you can utilize. I like that. I like it. Yeah. Goodbye. Hello. Are you though? I am. Okay. Do I want to make this flat or the floor now? I'm kind of thinking having a little bit of stairs and a little bit of change of height would be good. Like this level here could be on this level here, but then we could just have, we could just follow the game and I like have a little step up here, right? A little bit, little, like just a couple little different platforms or so, which will be good. So if we wanted to get, let's see, just to get some ideas down here, just some kind of like wonky little pipe structure here, right? If we did that, And again, I know there'll, there'll be lava underneath it and stuff, but that's the detailing we can do later. I, w I just want to see what this is kind of feeling like here. Right. And again, we'll let some of these weather. We'll get some wax and waxificatum and stuff like that. Is this the start of Decked Out 3? I'm wondering what stream and what video will be when that stops. <laughs> there will be no Decked Out 3. All right. Uh, and then we said the, we want the achacha on the sides, right? Bam. Or, or do we want to go with the stairs? The stairs was a good idea too. What stairs? Copper stairs? That's a lot of copper action. Let's do, let's do one side with acacia. Stripped acacia. And the other side with cut copper stairs. So expensive. But I do like the I like the little groove it's gonna put down there. You don't fall in the groove. I think I might like the groove. I think the stairs, right? Stairs are great. Oh. Yeah, we don't have much time. Stupid, we don't have much time. All right, we like stairs. I'm a fan of the stairs. And then and then these can get some a little bit of oxidation. And you know what would be cool is if, if the oxidation between and like this area will kind of blend, like maybe this corner got oxidized for some reason. Maybe we'll even drip, have some water drips coming down from the ceiling in a lot of places. If we really want to get detailed, we like, we oxidize those areas more where it's dripping. Oh, people better recognize. People better recognize. That's a good idea. Uh, okay. So then maybe does Acacia get demoted to filler stairs? What are we, what are we looking at here? We're looking at maybe granite. Polished granite. Yeah, because that's very orange right there. Oh, you're saying put the put the acacia outside the grate? Yeah, I was thinking that too. That's starting to get pretty pretty wide, but maybe? Let's try it. So we're saying do this, do that, skadoodle, like that, and then maybe the acacia outside here. Gonna be it's gonna be weird though, because like corners and stuff are gonna start getting pretty tight. And... Yeah, 
We have to decide, like, what do we do at corners? What if we go with a... just that? That's not bad. Oh, is this Gar's theme music? It is. Right? That's okay. That's a lot of orange, though. Yeah. Kabam! Two orange. Okay. Everybody, everybody's like, yeah, no, 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 no. Cool it with the orange. I kind of see that. Yeah. Orange! Too much. All right. So then that what you're saying is we need a block. It's non orange. Or pretty off orange here. Packed mud. Copper ages. No, I know we're going to we're going to go with a lot of the uh, what is it? Weathered is one step down. Needs it needs black. Well, the walls are going to be mostly black. I can't. I can't. Even. <laughs> Monate or not Monate. Uh, M crab. Thank you. Craft, how you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for the piece of pie. I appreciate it. Good to see you, my friend. And Monate, so if you had the opportunity to add stairs, please take it. Watching impulse get lost in your stairway yesterday was excellent content. Possibly, possibly. Okay. So yeah, this is very orange here. What if you don't strip the acacia wood? It is. It's not bad, actually. But then what would go next to it? Do we go back to a stone texture of some kind? That's not bad. <laughs> I like, I like, no, no, no. Hear me out. What if you don't strip it? And then we can even make like, a, what is it? The wood. Uh, we're still going to get if you do this. You get the wood, but you still get directions. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. There's no real reason to do that. And then at this point, we go to like a, a tough or something. Or the granite will be too much. If we go, if we go with a tough floor. Did I bring any tough over here? I don't think I did, right? If we go with a tough floor. First of all, I think I like that. Um, place is gonna be pretty dark with the tough floor and the and the deep slate walls. So we might need to add a little bit more color on the walls. Now the walls are gonna have the piping. Piston pipes are gonna be on the walls, and that will add some some definite detail. By dark, I don't mean light or dark. It's not about light level. It's about the the darkness of the textures is what I'm saying. The mud walls. Yeah, we have the mud in between the smooth. Yeah, so like let's. <clears throat> this isn't going to be an official one, but let's see. Where's my smooth basalt? Polished basalt, I mean, and my mud bricks. Did I bring those over here? There we go, those. So we're looking at iron shovel. We're looking at like, let's see here. The, again, this is not an official spot where this would be, but just to give you an idea of how the textures align. So the idea is that there's going to be like a column like this or something between each of the farms. So like this farm is going to be framed and have like some detailing all here and stuff. And then there'll probably be like one of those pillars like right here. And then maybe like my kelp farm or my sugar cane farm goes right next to it over there. <clears throat> it feels OK, but it's lacking. It's lacking detail. It, it needs it needs a vertical break, especially if I go any higher than this. <clears throat> yeah, there'll be a whole uh, hyperactive. There, there'll be a whole pass of like detailing afterwards where we're bringing like copper rods and stuff like that, probably. Banners and stuff like that will come all in that phase. Yeah. The pipes will break up. 
pipes will break up the walls yeah so then the wall will be let's see let's let's just try some of this i guess uh let's go with cobble and deep slate as the main and then we also said basalt in there too right basalt's a pain because we gotta get oh, maybe it's better to put the put the pipes in first let's see How many more of these do I have? Oh, I got enough. Oh, is this going to work? How does this work? Okay, that works. I mean, I don't even know if this is the shape of the... Oh, wait, I messed up right here. I don't even know if this is the shape. This is just like, it's it's zigzaggy intentionally because that's kind of steampunky. But I don't know if that's the shape I want to stick with. I might tear all this up. Um. All right, so then let's see here. This is, I didn't expect to put this much time into planning pallets and stuff, but this is good and I'm excited now because now I have a project I can actually dive into tonight. So this is good. So let's experiment with, with pistons here. I think the way to do this is instead of doing the wall, you like do the piston first. So maybe it starts out like that. And then there's a face there. Right, and then we need, these are gonna be a pain to make, but it's gonna be worth it. Boom, boom, boom. We break that, oh wait, no, this should be, this should be back even one more because I want the wall to be at that surface. So the pistons have gotta be kicked back even more, yep. Uh, doink, 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 doink. Let me get this one. So like that, and then, oh, I see what you're saying now about the four blocks, I think, right? Because the pipe is actually two blocks wide. So I, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. So my corners actually need to look like that if I wanted to do like a vertical, right? Which is, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty cumbersome. But maybe some stairs in there. You're right, like a a little circle of stairs. Yeah, four stairs. I like that. I like that. All right, so let's get some slabby jabbies here. And we need. Do I have? Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna use this cobble deep slate. But <clears throat> by the way, was it Ethos last episode? I think he did. Uh, he fought a wither, and he casually mentioned like this might be a good way to get deep slate. I'm kind of thinking dig a tunnel and then let a wither loose in that tunnel down at deep slate and then just don't kill the wither and just keep walking it back walking it back and then maybe even have someone on the other side that's like 50 blocks behind the wither it's just like picking up all that stuff and just go for like a thousand blocks did someone do that already is that wither mining is that is that an established technique I'm sure it is I'm probably late to that train but that seems totally like the way to to do that merle did that i'll have to ask merle deep slate i want polished deep slate stairs one two three four joe did it do you get a lot doing that or is it is it worth the trouble like i would want to get like thousands and thousands Mining is faster. Like, don't don't say it's worth it. Like, beds in the Nether is worth it to get out because it's not. It's fun, but is it actually more efficient than digging? We'll have to see. I don't know. I'll have to do some science. Okay, check it out, check it out. Uh, okay, so now we've got this problem here, right? Now we got to figure out... Let me throw in some random deep slate. This is not, this is like... Low effort. I'll obviously texture this a little bit more, but just to give an idea. This 
pipes are awesome. Uh, my stair! But now what do we do for that? We need like a, a trap door or... You wanna try walls? We'll try walls. I'm skeptical, but we'll try walls. Uh, polished. Oh, duh, can't use walls because it immediately touches. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be trapdoors. But what color trapdoors is there? There's no dark trapdoors, is there? Mm -mm. Did I bring that oak over? There it is. Yeah, there's no dark trap doors. There's brown. Dark oak, but dark oak is way too fancy. Like, it feels like copper should be what I use in here. But that's gonna be super expensive. Cause let me remind you, 54 copper ingots to make two trap doors. It feels weird to do that vertically, but not horizontally, right? Chains. Chains won't cover the side texture and it's not gonna it's not gonna work. Let's try spruce, I guess. I don't have spruce here. All I got is a cha cha. So uh, that's gonna have to wait. Iron bars. Uh the iron bars will touch. Iron bars will merge together. I mean I could I could just leave it open, right? It doesn't need something there, but it feels like it does just for framing purposes but I mean even that does look pretty sick imagine that like going up walls and zigzagging everywhere like oh that's gonna look so good it's gonna look amazing you think it looks good as is I don't know I really like the slab there Doc's idea Doc Knox's idea of putting the slab there was really good Two different walls, two different walls still connect. What about stairs? I mean, what, how? I don't have stairs. I wouldn't have the right texture here, but like, you do that and just kind of cover it up, but you do that where you get like little peep holes into it. Obviously it wouldn't be copper, um, but that covers up too much of the pipe. No, I'm not liking stairs. Glass. Anvil sideways. I'll let me use you. Uh, boink, 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 boink. Pretty tight. It's not horrible. Let's see what let's see what a lot look like. I think it might might be too busy. <clears throat> one wall and one anvil, maybe. Uh, what do I need? I need that. Not that. This. That. 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 And that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, I'm excited about this down here, though. Uh, 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 uh. Back to this. We'll go, we'll go three just to see what it looks like. I don't like it. 
too crowded to me to me i know some people might like it but eh, i don't it's a good idea <clears throat> and if i did walls on the other side obviously it wouldn't be that it's still it still just feels really i mean even if even if there were two walls and the walls didn't merge it's still too tight i think i think a lot of the benefit of this is seeing that black line there and that gray texture behind it and stuff is really important so i think i'm leaning toward either item frames of some kind and item frames uh trap doors of some kind or nothing and i'm quite honestly i might be leaning toward nothing vertical slabs would be great but you know just saying uh lightning rods you mean uh, the copper rods uh yeah as some detailing in there just to fill it maybe you know we could do like the lever lightning lightning rod or copper rod thing that might work grindstone uh mailbox is too complicated <laughs> uh iron bars don't work because they merge grindstone maybe it's a little bit narrower, I think, than a, uh, what were some of the things we wanted? We'll go back real quick and check. What was it? I wanted to get a different color wood. I wanted to get, we got some grindstones. End rods? Nah. End rods are way too space techy. I don't think, I mean, we can try chains. I know a lot of people have said that, but I don't think chains are going to, I mean, they may, they may be a detailing thing in there. That might be, it might be, it might be enough. I suspect chains won't work is my guess though, but we can try. I have the iron out there, obviously. Uh, I already forgot what I came back for. Tangy, thank you for the $5. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, campfires, grindstones. That was it. Yeah. Planks, sticks, and smooth. Do I have smooth? Yes. All right. We got to get rid of some stuff here. Got to get rid of some stuff here. Uh, iron. Go away. Need all this stuff. I guess I don't need all these anvils now. Uh, uh, all this needs to go back in the thing. All right. Rhinestones. Uh, what are this? What was it? Sticks? What the heck was it? Sticks and some planks. No. Uh, not yet. Uh, and sticks. Scar immediately wants to break everything. Just use vertical slabs. I know, right? Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, what do I not have? I got the smooth. I got the sticks. I got the planks. Oh, those aren't planks. I do have planks. Why is this not working? Can it not be acacia planks? Oh, that's a stone slab, not a smooth stone slab. Sorry. Grindstone five is good. Uh, and we want a dark wood. We'll just try some spruce, whatever. Uh, campfires, that's later. I'll, I'll bring those back, All right? I think that was it. Campfires are a detail thing. I don't, I don't need them right now. What about daylight sensors? What about them? For what? Ah, inventory full. I weep. Time check? Yeah. Uh, I gotta go in a couple minutes. Unfortunately. But, I know what I'm doing tonight. I'm excited now. Okay. Try grindstones first. Bum, 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 bum. No. So it's the same thickness as anvils. It's a nice texture and variation and stuff. Um, 
I mean, unless maybe that mixed with chains and we did like the pulley thing. Might be a nice detail. Uh, let me put some stuff away. Inventory management wastes so much time. Uh, dark oak fences and nether brick. What? Uh, okay. Uh, boink, boink. Uh, no, I need all these, and then I need some of these to go there, and then I need chains. Chain, excellent. Can we consider open fence gates uh, and lightning rods altering it up? Well, that's an interesting idea. The open fence gates might, might not look bad. All right, so if we did this and this, and we put like one of these, let's see. This will be small, of course. We're only going to get one one chain in here. But imagine if this gap... Imagine if the chains covered more of the gap. You can't even see the chains. Never mind. It's pointless. Yeah, chains no good. They're, they're essentially invisible. Copper rods in there. Maybe. I still don't like how close that is, but... Let's make some copper rods. Uh, it's got to, it's got to go. We got to get more height to get the real effect here. I think. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for the piece of pie. I am having an excellent day. I hope you are too. Jessica, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the heart. Uh, okay. Well, I don't have more pistons, which is unfortunate. So maybe that was a mistake, but let's, let's see what these are going to look like. Uh, and I, again, I would probably like alternate these and all that stuff, but maybe not. It's not horrible, but it almost detracts from the piston effect. You start looking too much at the at the orange rods instead of focusing on the piston, which I don't like. It needs the, the piston or the yeah, the, the piping needs to be the the focal point. All right, not going to worry about it. It's probably going to stay empty. Because honestly, personally, that's the best one so far. It's just just leave it empty. That's fine. Maybe some trapdoors. Let's try. I guess we brought the spruce trapdoors. We'll try those. Or we brought the spruce. Where did I put the spruce? Boink. Vertical slabs. Cause this might, I mean, it's not going to do much to cover it, but it does at least add depth to the, cause otherwise it's like the piss, the side of the, the gray side of the piston matches with the deep slate wall so much. The trap doors that will help break that up and make, make the wall or the, the pipes be more of a, of a catch your eye more. So that's not bad. That's not bad. I'd love, I wish there was some black trap doors. I'd love blackstone trap doors. That's, that's probably the best so far right there. These trapdoors horizontally too. Why? Okay. Okay, I like that. I'm not super crazy about this, but I don't know if there's a better answer for this. I mean, unless it's like, I don't know, I can't get... Vertical slabs. Yeah, I think. I think the stairs are probably the best there. It just it felt a little crowded, if I'm honest. It's almost like too too much in there, but I guess it's the best so far. 
keep falling off this thing here. By pointing the bottom junction piston up. Bottom junction piston up. Like that? And then you, I could slab that, I suppose. Maybe? Do we like that better? We like that better? Tech, thank you. So just requires a bit of a single pipe that fixed the turning issues. Okay, I'll check it out, Tech. I'll check it out later. Thank you. Um, yeah, I got to go, guys, unfortunately. I got to go. Uh, hockey calls. I got to take my son to hockey. Um, I am excited, though. And when I get back, I'm going to start working on all of this. We're going to detail out the bamboo. We're going to detail out the honey. We're going to detail out the iron. We're going to frame it with pillars. We're going to do the floor in here. And I think we're going to really bring this area alive and start having empty bays where we can build extra farms, which I think is going to be great. Um, so that's that. That's that. Other updates. Again, I'm sorry for the late videos. I can't tell you how many like road bumps and projects have started and stopped and been delayed. Um, obviously, if you've been paying attention to chat, you know what the project is that uh, Etho and I have been working on. It's absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Uh, that's gonna have to wait. I gotta talk to Pearl possibly for a while. Um, but I, I'm just gonna start working on the episode right after that, I suppose. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I do apologize that the videos aren't coming out faster. I know it's the beginning of the season and it's stressing me out big time. That's it. Uh, I'll be back Friday, either during the day or in the evening with impulse and or skiz. Again, that's not a promise at all. That's just a impulse said he was thinking, oh, there's the email. Impulse was thinking about starting Friday night streams up this Friday. Maybe I'll do both. I don't know. But one way or another, will be the next stream will be on Friday. Um, stay tuned for info on that. That's it. I appreciate you guys. Who do we got? Who do we got to raid? Is anyone is anyone streaming? If not, I'm OK. Uh, I don't even have a browser open. Is Cleo streaming? Done. Done. All right, guys. I really appreciate I Honestly, the help today has now made me. This is like this project was a task. Now it's something fun that I'm excited about. This is really going to look cool down here. Um, so thank you so, so much for your help on all the all the pallet stuff. I know that's kind of all we did today, but really, really inspiring. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, all right. Say hello to Cleo and I will see you guys Friday.